Wow, what a day in the stock market, 3% down on the NASDAQ as of recording this video. This is a pivotal week because not only do we have Alphabet and Microsoft reporting today, we have Meta, Apple, and Amazon reporting later in the week. But I wanna focus on Microsoft because they are one of the largest companies in the world and their business is growing, specifically cybersecurity, which is what we're gonna talk about in this video, so stick around. Wow, guys, what a crazy day out there. I'm Richard Allen with Tip Ranks TV. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. The NASDAQ, as of recording this video, let's jump over to tipranks.com, down 2.8% right now. Both the S&P and the Dow down over 1%, almost 2% on the S&P. Bitcoin down over 3%. It doesn't look fantastic out in the market right now. And this week is a pivotal week. We have some of the biggest companies in the world reporting earnings today, but I wanna focus on Microsoft specifically. They shocked the world last year when they announced how much business they're doing in cybersecurity, over 10 billion. And there's a chance we're going to see a big, big increase in that business this time around. In fact, it's their fastest growing segment of their business, growing over 40% year over year. And if they continue that pace, they're gonna eat up a lot of business out there. And there's a chance, instead of trying to grow this business internally, they're going to acquire some companies. So we're also going to talk about three of the big players in cybersecurity and uh, whether or not there's a chance Microsoft may acquire some of those businesses. But first, let's jump over and talk about where Microsoft is right now. Microsoft trading under the ticker symbol MSFT is pretty much following the NASDAQ today down 2.73% as of recording this video. But year to date, take a peek at that, Microsoft is down almost 16%. But again, this is one of the largest companies in the world with a market cap of over $2 trillion. Microsoft has a smart score of nine with a price target of an almost 36% upside over the next 12 months. Wall Street analyst expectations is $48.8 billion in revenue for Microsoft and $2.18 for EPS. Let me know what you guys think overall. Do you think they're going to hit these numbers? Do you think they're going to far exceed these numbers and then maybe trade 35% up today after hours because, you know, the stock market is pretty much trading like cryptocurrency lately? Let me know what you think down in the comments. I want to hear from you. But let's jump over. Let's talk about three companies in the cybersecurity space. We're going to talk about two very, very big players and then another company that um, is about half the value of some of the other big players in this space that Microsoft could certainly afford. Uh, but let's jump over. Let's talk about Palo Alto Networks first. Palo Alto Networks, trading under the ticker symbol PANW, is an almost $60 billion company with about $5 billion in revenue. They are down 2% today, pretty much following the NASDAQ as well, but up 10% year to date. This is a strong buy stock with about a 12% upside price target. Another big dog in the cybersecurity space is CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike Holdings trading under the ticker symbol CRWD is down 3% today as well. About a $50 billion market cap company, also a strong buy with an average upside of 32%. This company is up right around 8% year to date. All right, the third company I want to talk about in the cybersecurity space is Okta, trading under the ticker symbol OK. TA. Okta is a user authentication and workforce identification specialist. With about a $20 billion market cap, Microsoft could easily afford this company. And they're actually down right around 5% today. But if we take a peek at the year to date statistics, Okta is down almost 40% year to date. If we take a peek at what the analysts have to say about Okta, this has a 62% upside over the next 12 months. So let me know how you feel about Microsoft right now before earnings. I want to hear from you down in the comments. Let me know, are you buying Microsoft before earnings because they are down almost 16% year to date? Or are you waiting to see what earnings brings? Are they going to shoot up after earnings after hours? Or are they going to crash more? I want to hear from you. Let me know how you feel. And do you think Microsoft is going to be in the acquisition game? Are they going to acquire one of these companies in the cybersecurity space? 
I want to hear from you. Let me know. As always, thank you so much for joining me for another video, and I'll see you in the next one.